Hello my fellow fraudulent flailing fawns failing to find fuckable fade. Today we are back with more of the high one piece experience. So if you're ready to get a little shifty mifty in here and read some of the one some high octane one piece action, let's dive right into it. This country has no name. A country with no name. I've never heard such a thing. Oh a fucking bear mate! Everyone! Everyone! Play dead! It's just a hiking bear. He's not dangerous. Don't forget to bow. It's a mountain um trainer's tradition. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, such a scary little bear. Almost as scary as the bear that is your dad. That gay ass motherfucker tries to fuck me all the time. I I ain't having it. Anyways, let's 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 look at this. It's a fucking double page, boys. Look at the sexy little double page. There's there's like they're they're slaying. They're literally slaying. Let's dive into it, boys. And then there's Usa being all cold and shit. He's burring. Burr, burr, burr. Good. It's all better. Why is there so much dugs in this series? Can we talk about that? Like, I feel like a lot of the time, this series just puts dogs front and center. Like, they just zoom in on Luffy's dogs every now and then. Like, every, like, five pages, there's at least one set of dogs out just barking. Just go, rawr, rawr, rawr. Like, look at him. They're barking right now. Rawr, rawr. Who let the dogs out? God damn, boy! Good, it's all better. See? <laughs> now I can start training for real. I'm sick of taking it easy. And the guarding the ship is getting boring, too. I think I'll take a mind-clearing winter swim. <laughs> the snow village, Bighorn. This is our village. There are some strange animals walking around here. Boy, this really is a snowy country. Nami, Nami, Chan, we're in a village with people. We made it. A village, Nami, a village. Thank you, everyone. Except for those on guard duty. You can all go fuck off. <laughs> go back to work. Will you be alright? Dalton? They're pirates. I don't think they mean us any harm. Trust me. I feel in my gut. They're not real soldiers. They're all civilians. Please come to my house for now. Huh? Luffy! Look! The Hawking Bear! Again? Dalton, I heard there were pirates here. Are you alright? Yes, everything's fine, don't worry. Dalton, I'm looking forward to the election in two days. Everyone says they're voting for you. Ugh, oh, no, not me. I'm not worthy. Put her on their bed over there. I'll get some. Um, the room warmed up. I didn't introduce myself. Name's Captain Dalton of Drum Island. Civilian guard. My name is Dalton. I'm the protector of this island. Please forgive a hostile reception. Can I ask you a question? What is it? I have the feeling. I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, yeah, um, it must be your imagination. Um, but tell us about this witch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her treasure. Oh, her temperature. It's 107.6 degrees. Oh, damn, that's fucking... You, Nami's going through it right now. She's, she's burning up. Hotter than ever. Except for the time skip when she gets big badonka donk, she gets very hot out of that. But for preem time skip, hotter than ever. Nami has been hotter than ever recently. If it goes any higher, she'll die. Yes, but we don't know the cause of her illness or how to treat it. Just look, darling. We need a doctor. Any doctor. Where's that witch? The witch. You see the mountains out the window. Whoa, it's big. It's a super snowman! It's the super monster, she -Raw. Are you guys gonna get it? Jesus fucking Christ, stop backing around! That That is kind of sick. They make fucking Godzilla right there. And a su super... Su honestly, I'm impressed with the, Luffy's ability to make snowmen. Like, that is honestly way better than I thought Luffy would be able to make. I'm impressed with you, Luffy. Pop off, you creative fucking genius. These mountains are the drum rockies. See that castle on the highest peak? Right now, that's a castle without a king. A castle? Man, this shit warms you up. This shit bursting for real, for real. What are you putting my latte, big man? Oh my god, I'm fucking tweaking. What about it, darling? The only doctor in the country. Dr. Correa, whom the people call the witch. She lives there. What? Why would she want to live all the way up there? Anyway, call her down here. It's an emergency. 
I like to, but we have no way of contacting her. What? And she calls herself a doctor. What kind of woman is she? Her skills as a doctor are indisputable, but she's rather eccentric. She's nearly 140 years old. What the fuck? 140? And she's still kicking. Don't know. Let's see. She likes pickled plums. What do the people here do when they get sick or injured? She comes down to the mountain wherever she feels like it. Then she looks for patients, treats them, takes whatever she wants in compensation, and goes home. Sounds like a no sounds like a nasty old lady. Hey, she's just like a pirate. But how does this woman know how to get down the old mountain? It's strange, but I've heard that on moonlight rides, she rides th a sleigh through the sky and comes down the mountain. Some people have even claimed to see it. That, well, I don't know why I made that hurt sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why they call her a witch. Or they say she comes with a strange beast, anything unlike anything they've ever seen before. Oh, I knew it. It's here. See? It's the abominable snowman. After all, this is a snow covered mountain, and uh, the abominable snowman, they do live in the snow covered mountains. Oh, I knew it'd be a, a witch and a snow monster. Oh, I just like my last time. I've come to this before. I've slain many witches in this time, freed the country of Zilafian, and helped. Free those people from an enslaved race of snow monsters. Oh, please. Please don't let me meet up with them. I've come with a... Hey, please don't let me meet up with a normal snowman or else I'll fucking die sickness. <laughs> She's our only doctor. But we don't like to get involved with her if we can help it. It's the best we can do. Just wait here until she comes down the mountain. But, you know... One doctor for an entire country it makes no sense. Hey, Nami! Nami! Can you hear me? Hey, 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 homie, you good? You good? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Ugh. She's awake. Hey, listen. The only doctor around here lives on top of a mountain. We're gonna climb it, alright? Don't be ridiculous. What are you trying to do to Nami? It's okay, I'll carry her on my back. That'll only make it worse. How come? The sooner she sees the doctor, the better, right? We just go up that mountain, get a little doctor action, and fucking ball. We ball. Well, yes, but... It's impossible. Look at how tall and steep that peak is. I can make it. Even if you can, it's too much effort for an army. A fall from that mountain would kill even a healthy person. If she does fall, there's soft snow under her. Uh, if she does fall, there's soft snow under her. Her temperature is 9 degrees higher than normal. Do you realize that? Heh. <laughs> Nami. 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 I have to get better right away. I'm counting on you. Atta girl, Nami. Leave everything to me. I got you. Let's bow. I've had it with our captain and with our navigator. Do you realize how sick you are, Nami? Okay, give me some meat. Meat? Nami, are you sure about this? That climb will make, might take hours. Fine. I'm going to, darling. This keeps in, keep this in mind. If you lose your footing. Oh, keep this in mind. If you lose your footing even once, Nami's going to die. What? Even once? Jesus, that's like not that many times. Wait, don't move. It has to be tied tight. That should do. I'll be waiting here. I'd only be a bird if I came along. Me too. All right, everyone. Hang on. Uh-huh. If you're serious about this, I would stop you. But at least start climbing from the other side. There's lapins on their side. They're vicious, flesh-eating rabbits. If you encounter a pack of them, it's certain death. Rabbits, we're in a hurry. We can handle them, right? Yeah, I'll kick him. Let's go, Sanji, before Nami dies. Don't say things like that, you stupid, bad luck bastard idiot. All right. I hope they're all right. Ah, oh, no need to worry about those two. I've seen them fight many demons and come out and talk. The question is, will Nami's strength hold up? I hope they make it. What's the matter? Come inside, you two. It's cold here. <sighs> That's all right. I'll stay out here for a while. Me too. <laughs> I see. Then I'll keep you company. Long ago, we did have them. Huh? Doctors. But circumstances caused them all to leave. Only a few months ago, this country was defeated by pirates. Huh? It was! No wonder everyone was here so nervous when we were here. Yes. The mere mention of pirates still makes us uneasy. There are only five pirates. 
The captain called himself Blackbeard. They're immensely powerful. We never had a chance. They defeated us before we even knew what was happening. Five pirates? You must have been kidding. Bl Blackbeard. Put something around here. Ah, put some around here. Think it was a blessing. What can be good about a what can be good about a country being defeated? Yeah, who'd say something so idiotic? Until then, this land was ruled by a king. The people were very unhappy. This land was called Drum Kingdom, and the king's name was Wapple. He was the worst king ever. Wapple, I remember now. Wapple. Ch end of chapter 133. Let's dive into cat chapter 134. We're making haze, boys. We're sailing straight to the Grand Line. We're going straight to the One Piece. We making it, boys. We making haste at this current moment. Django's Dance Paradise, outside issue. Report. Kaya is, an, um, now her doctor's apprentice and doing fine. Oh, baller, look at her. She's making her way up the world. And she's got the fucking homies as bodyguards. They're guarding her as she's doctoring. What a baller. What? You know, Wapple? Do we ever? Well, that's the pirate that talked to the ship. But I chased him off as a glorious protector of the ship. Actually, I remember him saying something about the drum kingdom. Yeah, I remember him clearly now. When I was a child, my father told me to meeting of, um... To a meeting of kings and I, um, met him. A meeting of kings? Just who are you? Oh, I mean, um, anyway, um, <sighs> I met this Wapple. It was yesterday, on our way here. Is that so? What's going on here? This country was defeated, but the king's not only alive, he's turned into a pirate. The pirate part's just a cover. Whopper's scouting the seas in search of this island. Those men on the two ship on, on the ship were soldiers that the pirates defeated and drove off the island. Defeated, that's a laugh. When the pirates arrive, Wapple's army didn't even attempt to fight. What? Believe it or not, when they saw the pirates' strength, they abandoned the nation and left it to its own fate. They fled like rats from a sinking ship. Wapple escaped to the sea, and the country lost hope. Their own king would. How could a king do such a thing? Vivi. It's despicable for a king to abandon his own people. You're right. But now, Wapple's evil reign is over. The island belongs to those of us who remained. The town's villagers are beginning to recover. Right now, they're, we're united, trying to build a new nation. Which is why we fear Rop Wapple's return more than anything. Until we're able to rebuild our country... The restoration of the monarchy is the thing to be feared the most. We want to build a new, peaceful nation. It's getting colder. The wind's picking up. Why aren't you wearing socks? Just looking at that makes my... Oh, why aren't you wearing socks, darling? Just looking at that makes my feet hurt. Jesus, Luffy. It's my policy. Jesus. Pol oh, <laughs> it's my police. Police? You mean policy? Yeah, that. By the way, did you know the people who lived in the snow countries don't sleep? Huh? Why not? Well, if they fell asleep, they'd die. That's ridiculous. Everyone has to sleep. It's true. I heard it from a, a story a long time ago. Did Usopp tell you that? Nope. I heard it in a village tavern. Then why did Dalton have a, a bed in his house? Oh, you're right. That must have been his deathbed. You idiot! Did you, then, did you know this? Snow Country women have silky smooth skin. How come? Isn't it obvious? When it's cold, you rub your skin like this, right? That makes it soft and smooth. Smooth and translucent white skin. That's Snow Country women for you. Hmm. I wonder what makes it white. The color of the snow gets absorbed into the skin. Naturally, darling. Grrr! You know, I have never knew you were this stupid. You're calling me stupid! Jesus fucking Christ! Anyway, I'm getting tired of this BS. What was that thing anyways? Just hang on, Nami. We're gonna get you a doctor. It's really snowing hard up here. Luffy, try to sleep more light- Um, step more lightly. You're jostling Nami. Huh? Hmm. What are they? 
They're big and white. They must be polar bears. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Fucking polar bears, am I right? I wonder if they're alright. I hope they don't encounter any lapins. Even if they're carnivor- Um, even if they're carnivorous, they're still just- Even if they're carnivorous, they're still rabbits, right? Yes, rabbits are as big as b Yes. Rabbits as big as bears with the quickness of a rabbit that attacks and packs. What bears? Fucking god damn it. What is it with these bears in this country? I hope they'll be alright. Are they really that big? Dalton! Dalton! I hear you're looking for the dog. That's right, but they just took the patient. I heard. But the witch is over in the next town right now. Wh what? Ooh. Oh, Captain Wapple. What is it, Chess? Do you see this ship? No, Captain Wapple, but we finally come home. What? How many long, hard months have it been? It's our homeland. Drum Island. Are you sure? Da -da the neighboring town of Coca weed. Oh my god, coca weed sounds dope. I want to smoke some coca weed. That sounds hard. What? Hey, shopkeeper, give me a break, man. Shut that kid up. I can't take it. I'm sorry. What's wrong tomorrow? Where does it hurt? If you keep crying, I can't understand you and your bothersome customer. Where? I'm a little kid and I cry because I'm a little bitch, little kid. Where? And I cry because I'm a little bitch, kid. Where? <laughs> Dama, what's wrong? If you don't stop crying, it'll lock, uh, I'll lock you uh, inside, outside. Where? Don't lock me outside. I'm just a little bitch kid. I'll die in the fucking freezing cold because I'm a little bitch kid. Where? Oh, did you hear that, Chopper? <gasps> chopper! Boku wa Chopper. Tony Tony Chopper. <coughs> a child that won't stop crying has something wrong with its body. We've got a bad... F We've got a bad father here. This is the shop. Stand back. I'm coming in. Where's this sick child? Ka ka ka. Dr. Kureha, master physician, 139 years old. Tony Tony Chopper. Dr. Kureha's beloved reindeer. D D Dr. Kureha! My secret youthful apprentice. No! I didn't ask that. I can't believe that old bitty is really 140 years old. I'm only 139 years old. Eww! Shall I cure him? Huh? Cure him of what? This child isn't sick. Are you a doctor? Cure him being an annoying little bitch kid. Go. Uh, no. Firestorm. Let's go, Chopper. Hey, wait! My arm hurts. Uh, yeah. Your arm, huh? How's this? My leg hurts. See, you forgot about the pain in your arm. <laughs> oh my god. I, I I relate a lot to that. <laughs> she, she fucking breaks his leg. Now you don't have to worry about the pain in your arm. You're welcome. What are you doing? It's alright, alright. Are you sick? Oh yeah, it's stay still. I barely touched your leg. Your arms and legs are tender. You don't have a fever, but there's swelling in the affected area. A Feastering inflammation. You have bacteria in your bones. Chopper, get an antibiotic ASAP. Doctor, my child, this di this disease it has to be caught early or there's no hope of survival. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. But he would have died for sure. Huh, you would have died? What the fuck? I'm going to make a small incision now. <laughs> hey, you can't be giving him a painkiller. Okay, now for the injection. Get ready. Ah! Don't be so rough with the fuck! Oh, yeah. All done. My medicine is very effective. Just keep the leg bandaged for a while. If it gets stiff, put ice on it, understand? Huh? And the payment for me. Hmm, let's see. I'm running low on garbage bags and toilet paper. And drum. I'll take whatever food you have. Oh, and half the shop's assets. Chopper, load this leg. What? I can't give you half of my assets. Don't fall for that shopkeeper. She's cheating you. Almost died. What a laugh. He was just crying because he fell down. She only pretended to cure him. Jesus, this fake witch. What the frick? That's right. It, isn't that right? Well, you take advantage of weak people. You senile old woman. <sighs> Chopper boy, come down. They're just prattling little children. Grandma. It feels so much better. Thank you. Do do him. <laughs> what a sweet tip. I'll only take 49% now. I'll pay you. Thank you. Oh, goody. <laughs> what I did just now? Don't ever forget it. Chopper boy! Da -da End of chapter 134.
And with that, I'm going to end it here. Hey, boys, if you want to see the, last, the rest of this, we're going to finish this bad boy off next time. Hey, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all being here and joining me for the high One Piece experience. If you want to see more One Piece, if you want to see more weird shit like a fucking 139-year-old woman curing some children of being a bitchy little bitch boy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all being here. I don't see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.